right, so now that we've gathered our supplies, the first thing you got to do is color in Flit's head. So I used two different shades on colored pencils. I used kind of a nice darker orange color as well as a lighter orange color to give it a really nice depth. Now you cut him out nice and easy. And you have to make sure to color both sides because you want to make you're going to end up gluing the two of them together and you want to be able to see his face on both sides. All right, now that you cut him out, we're doing the glue. Get some of your nice glue stick on the back and put the heads together. Perfect. Putting the sides of the heads together and make sure that they're as even as possible. You might need to trim a little bit of excess off here if you cut them a little differently. And there's the head. So now that we've done the head, we need to do the skirt. And that's using a white pom-pom that we'll make with this little bit of white yarn. So you're going to want to hold the yarn with your thumb and then wrap it around your four fingers about 20 times. Okay, just keep on wrapping until you reach 20 times around. Okay, now you're going to want to go ahead and cut the yarn, leaving this little nice tail of yarn here that we're going to use in just a second. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off my fingers carefully. You want to keep them wrapped up. Now we're going to grab that piece of yarn that we just cut away lay it down, lay our wrapped yarn over it, and then we're gonna go ahead and tie that small piece of yarn in a knot. I would do at least two or three ties as tightly as you can because this is what's gonna be holding the threads together is this knot right here. Okay, so I'm doing about three ties. Okay, this is what it'll look like. Looks kinda like a bow, trim off the excess. Now go ahead and all those loops need to be cut on both sides. You're just going to cut through all those loops just like that. Okay, so now that we've cut through the loops, looks kind of like that. We want to go ahead and part one of the sides and bring it down, hiding the tie that we just made. Okay, and just kind of gently form it. And there's the little skirt. All right, so now we need to attach Flit's head to his skirt body. All right, so I'm going to get my little bit of tacky glue here. You can use any kind of glue, but this one does dry fairly quickly. You could use hot glue, you could use Elmer's glue, whatever you have at handy. And you're going to put a dot of that glue on top, just like that. Grab your seed head. Right, gently place it into the center and you want to just hold the skirt up a little bit onto that head around the sides and just hold it for a few seconds. Let the glue set just a little bit. Okay, and then you're going to want to let it dry completely before you do much handling of it. I'm just trimming up the skirt now just so it's a little bit more even. And there's Flint. A fun little paper craft to do while we're all stuck here at home. And there you have it. There's Flit. All nice and finished. He's a little milkweed wisp. And he is best friend to Whimsy in my story that's coming out in September called Tales of Whimsy, book one, Wish Weaver. You can go ahead and use a gel roll pen here on the sides to do the markings if you'd like. That's another option if you want it to be more of a painted on look. You can also do a nice black outline for the face if you're interested in making that a little bit more noticeable of an outline. And there's Flit and Whimsy, ready to go on an adventure. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for more tales of Whimsy.